What's up YouTube? Uh, thanks for tuning in today. This is Jeremy with Wild Texas. Uh, today we have the whole Wild Texas crew over. We're breaking down and grinding a bunch of wild game. We got five different coolers full over here. We got red deer, elk, axes, whitetail. So uh, we're gonna show you some tips and pointers that we've found throughout the years of doing this. By no means this is the only way, but this is the way we do it and hopefully it helps you out when it comes time to break down your animals. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble the grinder. Jeremy went ahead and put these parts all in the freezer two days ago or something, and that really helps with keeping all the components cold. When you're running through as much meat as we are, you wanna keep everything as cold as yeah, possible. Yeah, the motor will heat up. Pop that on. We're gonna go with the number eight today, and our goal is to try to make, since we have so much, we're trying to do as little work as possible, although it's going to take several hours. So we're going to do one grind, put on one of these sausage tubes, and go straight into the bags. So first we're going to start with some red deer. We've got about seven pounds here. We're going to mix in uh, 1.4 pounds of pork and that's gonna give us like a ratio of probably 80-20. So we'll run this one time, we'll mix it up, run it one time through into the one pound game bags and be done. Uh, this meat's pr still pretty frozen. It definitely helps with uh, how fast it feeds through, especially when this pork's kind of uh, getting a little warm. Uh, right, even, yeah. Though it, yeah, even though it's pretty cool out here. That is a pound. Step one, you're gonna wanna crack right. a cold one. You can do it, grab this and feel it. Put on some good tunes, probably some Skinners, oh, some ZZ. Yeah, it's a heavy pound. None of that Nashville country. It's a heavy pound cut. Pop, rock. We all washed our hands. I swear, is it? All right, so that's it. You saw the first pound of red deer get ground up, and now we go ahead and, I think this product is made by Weston, and it tapes and cuts the bag for you, so really handy. Go ahead and give it a little twist. Just like that, good to go, one pound. All right, so we're weighing out four pounds of meat right here, four pounds of whitetail, and we're gonna go ahead and add um, one pound of pork, this Boston butt, that is gonna give us an 80-20 ratio. More, more piece, and we'll give it a mix. And just like you can see, we've already done that, mixed it up, put it up here, I'm gonna run it through the grinder just like we've been doing. Deer we were grinding up, red deer, whitetail, and axis. And now we went ahead and broke out the front shoulder of the elk and are gonna grind up at least this front shoulder. And based on some of these cuts of meats that we're getting out of here, it's it's hard to, not, we're not sure if we're gonna grind up the other one. All right, well, just taking the shoulder apart, got all the upper muscles off of there. Ralph's taking off that muscle. Take, oh, we're gonna cut these into some Oso Buco but the rest is gonna get ground, so we'll just trim it all off. We gotta start pronouncing it right now. <laughs> yeah. what, do we, what do you wanna say? It's Asabuka. Aso? Yeah. Oso. Well, so far we've done 90 pounds of white tail, axis, um, just starting on the elk and red deer, and red deer. Um, so once we get through about a quarter of this, we'll be over 100 pounds for the day. Um, what are we running, about an hour and a half? Yeah, but yeah, uh, so we're coming up in about two hours. Two hours, so we're making pretty good time. Here's the shank here. We're gonna trim away for the asabuco. Then we're just saving all the little pieces we can. It's so that you wanna have uh, when doing a big ass animal like this is good friends. If you gotta do this all on your own, 
it's going to be a pain in the ass and take you a lot of time. So much appreciated to these gentlemen and they know that we're getting paid in elk meat. I'm about to put some on the grill. Working hard over here. Got to keep them fed. <laughs> Got some elk steaks while we're waiting and some elk marrow right here.